This is going to be boring and short. Look at content statement 27. Look, we've got, just to kind of review, look at some of these. Red Scare and McCarthyism up here, containment up here in 23, the A-bomb in 22, Korean Vietnam in 25, Vietnam divided the country and sparked massive protests. 26 uh, is a very vague treatment of the end of the Cold War. Notice there's nothing in here about Reagan or Gorbachev or anything like that. They do have fall of Berlin Wall here. And of course, exam tends to not mention specific names, tends to not, of, of famous characters in American history. 27 is the civil rights. And if you look at all of these, you can see um, the civil rights movement for African-Americans here. And then it gets into the United Farm Workers, women, American Indian movement, gay liberation movement. When you get to 28, this is more of like an economic one. Uh, you've learned about the Roaring Twenties. I call the 50s the Roaring 50s because in a lot of ways, there's a lot of similarities to between the 20s and the 50s. And so um, where there were technological advances in the 20s, uh, there's even more so in the 50s. And it just seems like both are, you know, post-war eras of you know, big explosions of inventiveness and creativity. The post-war economic boom and advances in science and technology post-war meaning post-World War II, produce changes in American life. Okay, so technology and science causes change. Economic boom causes change. In the decades following World War II, the United States experienced an era of unprecedented prosperity and economic growth. Several factors that contributed to this prosperity and economic growth included increased demand for goods and services. Remember, people had to ration and when you have to ration, you are not able to spend as much money as you would like. And so people had a lot of money saved up during the mid 40s, during World War II, that they wanted to spend in the late 40s and in the 50s. We looked at a little bit the growth of the suburbs. And we talked about the huge population explosion called the baby boom that came after World War II. Advances in science and technology following the war impacted American life in the following ways. Medicine. The birth control pill was introduced in the 50s. And in the 60s is when it started to really become used more often. The polio vaccine was introduced in the 50s, uh, which was a little bit too late for my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa had polio, as you might remember, we talking about FDR. Um, he missed it by a, a decade, I think. Um, but we don't have to worry now about the polio vaccine because of um, the invent the uh, inventor scientist named Jonas Salk S A L K uh, and came up with this vaccine, and it you know we don't have polio anymore, um, you know for the most part, um, and that vaccine was not controversial like this current one is. Um, you know, times have changed. There's a lot more trust in the American government back then. Um, it was a lot easier to, to, to see polio because you could see people crippled from it um, in, in town. It's not like an invisible respiratory thing like COVID. So uh, nuclear power plants, uh, nuclear power was not just used for explosions and atomic bombs, but it was also used in power plants to help make electricity. Uh, you heat, you used uranium bars to heat up water and it basically turns the nuclear power plant into a steam engine. And then the problem is what do you do with those nuclear, those uranium bars after you're done with them? Um, that, that's the big problem right now. Um, transportation, of course, passenger jets, um, are much more ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means, you know, more people able to purchase plane tickets and travel across the country and around the world. Um, same thing for automobiles. 
um, especially for a new demographic, a new population group that we call today the teenager. That word is first used in the 1950s, at least in the pop culture. And of course, television um, is not just used as a novelty and for a way for weird local people to get on the airwaves and do weird, boring things, right? Um, this is the, the golden age of television when you have classic sitcoms like The Honeymooners and Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> That's me. Um, my Three Sons uh, in the 60s, you get um, The Andy Griffith Show, etc. And if you've been following Marvel, um, a lot of WandaVision played off of those stereotypes of the domestic housewife, the husband that goes off to work in his three-piece gray flannel suit etc. And where did I go there? What you're expected to know is describe how American life in the post-war period was impacted by post-World War II economic boom, by the post-World War II economic boom, and sci advances in science and technology. If you have any questions, please let me know.